today I got some uh, small mission ahead. I just detected when it was like raining heavily in Nukuhiba, the other just across the, the straight here, the channel, that uh, there was some water leaking inside. Uh, and I'm guessing that it passes through the cables, the electrical cables that come down the mast and uh, they go inside, uh, so into the saloon. And yeah, it's leaking quite a bit of water, rainwater, and I think it has to do with some uh, Sika Flex insulation. So I'm gonna open up the, you know, the screws there and the, the hatches for the cables and uh, insulate again with some Sika Flex. You know, this is quite a, a powerful insulator and people use it a lot in, uh, in the boats. So yeah, wish me luck. I think that is it, but I'm gonna find out just about two. Okay. Okay, so it's quite obvious that there is one here which has Sikaflex and it's a cable that I changed in Panama roughly 12, 10 months ago, as you can see. So I'm gonna do the same because this can make the difference, okay? Yeah, so and actually you can see that there is Sika Flex in, um, in the cables, except for one here. But uh, because it is already like so dry and corroded that I'm just gonna feel again more uh, Sika Flex. Okay, you can see here, there is a bit, but that is just doing nothing, okay? So I'm gonna keep going. What's up, so mission accomplished. I just uh, finished insulating the, the cables here. I mean, <laughs> water will not pass there, that's for sure. It's a bit exaggerated, but I'd rather have it like that than, uh, you know, having to insulate everything again. And uh... So, and I also took the chance to insulate two more parts here at the bow of the, of the yacht, Winderlust, which are the windlass windlass no doubt it's important to give it like a, a small touch of sick around the bases as you can see here because there is a lot of salt water coming here at the bow so when when the sea is bumpy and the bow it's with the waves with the swell if there is some swell obviously there will be some water coming in here and you want to prevent it to go into the inside of the windlass which I've already seen how does it look like a corroded windlass on the winds on the inside and that's something to avoid at all costs so I gave it this extra layer this extra touch of Sika there's also some electrical cables that connect to the navigation lights and I also gave them uh, some Sika around it because there was a small uh, thin way that could uh, get some water in there and bring it to the inside, to the cabins, you know, you, you never want it and much less mixing it with the, with the electrical cable. So I just gave it an extra, um, an extra layer there. Okay, around it, all around. And that was it for today. You know, it is usually said that cruising is yacht maintenance in exotic destinations. Right now, I'm blessed to be here in French Polynesia in the Marquesas, just about to head for the Tuamutus. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing in the last couple of hours, yacht maintenance in an exotic destination. So I'm definitely cruising. That's undoubtful. And uh, okay, keep up and stay tuned with this YouTube channel, Winderlust. There are a lot more videos coming up and uh, stay tuned.
Boop.